of the biggest gatherings of heads of state, religious leaders and celebrities the world has ever seen will take place in the city for former President Nelson Mandela's memorial service. On Joburg Today, we speak to the city's officials about the logistics of carrying out this historic event. But first, we sat down with the executive mayor of the city, Parks Tau. He speaks about Joburg being a place that Amadiba called home. We, we are privileged that he chose Johannesburg as home, that he defined Johannesburg as the place of his political birth, and that he lived in the city and made us proud, not just as a city, but as South Africans. We have been honored that he accepted the honor of Freeman of the city of Johannesburg, an honor that they will bestow on those who've made a great contribution to this city and this country. My name is Novisa, you're watching Jovic today. And now we hear from a spokesperson of the city about the transport measures that have been put in place for those attending the memorial service. Metro Rail have uh, uh, allocated trains. Uh, uh, Padco has uh, uh, allocated buses. Uh, Rea Vaya uh, has suspended all its service uh, for tomorrow, the normal service. And all the buses will be dedicated to taking people to um, the FNB stadium. We anticipate that the stadium might not cope. And once the stadium is full, people will be taken to other, what we call supplementary morning sites. Uh, we've put aside Ellis Park Stadium, we've put aside Orlando Stadium, we've put aside uh, Dobsonville Stadium. Services will start as early as 5 a.m. The information is available on the city's website, www joweg.org.za My name is Queen, you're watching Joweg today. For the last few days, people all over the world have been reflecting on the legacy of Nelson Mandela. My next guest shares his personal memory of the icon. Joining me now in studio is Deputy Minister in the Presidency for Performance, Monitoring and Evaluation, Minister Obed Bapela. Thank you so much for being here, Minister. Very briefly, let us talk about the legacy of Mandela. Can I first greet the viewers of JoeBeckToday.tv? Uh, the legacy of Nelson Mandela is a big one. It's a rare occasion that a country gets such a, a rare skill, a rare individual. It has happened, it has happened in the past, but South Africa was so blessed mm -hmm. that we had a man of uh, Nelson Mandela whom we will be bearing this weekend and bidding him farewell. Mm. And how should South Africans carry that legacy on, if I may? Obviously, what we'll be calling on the people of South Africa is to embrace each other mm. because he was a man when he came out of prison after suffering so much, mm. was able to come out and say, I forgive, let's forgive. And then there was a reconciler, and he reconciled, and was a nation builder. And we need to continue building this nation. It's a very glorious uh, nation that ought to really begin to build itself against all odds, mm -hmm. and so that we can then build a prosperous South Africa that everybody can so much enjoy. Tomorrow's memorial service is going to go down in the history books, no doubt. Um, is the country ready for what is going to be all eyes on South Africa tomorrow? We are definitely ready. We are ready today receiving uh, almost 34 heads of states from all over the world, including the President of the United States of America. And those people don't travel light. They travel very, very big. And then, but the country will be definitely uh, be embracing them in one area at the FNB Stadium. And then also uh, the nation will definitely be there in big numbers. We hear that we are quite a number of people who are traveling by train from other provinces coming to Houting. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and both the national people and our international guests, we are ready for the day tomorrow is a big moment for us. And, and before we let you go, Minister, just your personal experience of Madiba, what did he mean to you personally? Well, it's both ways. It's what I read about him when I was still young and I joined the struggle. But as when he was coming out of prison, that was the biggest moment for me. And they all were glued on that. Our television screens on that day, we wondered how he looks like. Mm -hmm. Because no one had seen Mandela since 1962 when he got arrested. So we're all having these shapes and ideas in our minds. And then oh, 
there he walks and then indeed that was a glorious moment to say here's a man that we could not see for almost 27 years so that is one of the greatest elements but the second one which is the last is his discipline on time it happened to me we start, we had a meeting of ANC branches in Gauteng in Johannesburg mm. and then he arrives before everybody it was just 30 people that were there and we're expecting 400 people were still coming he arrives he said I'm here I want to start the meeting I said Mr. President please can we wait he says no I can't wait he said 10 o'clock and 10 o'clock is 10 o'clock he then instructed his people close the doors and then the doors were closed and I said, I'll talk to you because you are all disciplined. I can't talk to people who are ill-disciplined. And he addressed the meeting and after then he said, open the doors. He said, thank you very much. I'll see you people. Those 30 people will tell you what I said. And he <laughs> moved on. <laughs> so glad you were part of those 30 minutes. I was there, definitely. <laughs> thank you so much for your thank time. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. My name is Shane and this is Joburg Today. Lanseria Airport has seen heightened activity with the mass arrivals of international visitors coming into the city for the memorial. It's been quite the job managing the rush, as one representative told us. Lanseria International Airport has had to adjust its operations to accommodate the more than usual number of incoming flights in the last few hours. That's as those attending former President Nelson Mandela's memorial file into the country. Aircraft movement is expected to increase drastically. We make space wherever we can. Um, the idea is to have people coming in, um, dropping off and going out as soon as possible. Um, not to stay as long as possible on the apron. Uh, our peak time is actually about four-ish, four or five, and then up until the night, uh, till tomorrow morning early, carries on all the way. Many more chartered planes are expected as dignitaries and celebrities arrive to attend the memorial service. This is Wayne, and you're watching Joburg Today. That's it for Joburg Today, but we certainly would still love to hear from you. Let's connect on social media. Follow us on Twitter at Joburg Today. Give us likes and comments on Facebook, joburgtoday.tv. You can also follow me on Twitter. That's at Christine J Today. We play out today's show with a tribute to Nelson Mandela by Johnny Clegg. It's Asim Bonanga. Until tomorrow, it's bye for now. This is a song that we wrote for... A truly one of the greatest South Africans um, in history, Nelson Mandela, and we'd like to open the show tonight with a tribute to him.
God bless you. Thank you.